Hey, it's Dee and Dory. Hey, hi, I'm Dee. I'm Dory. And welcome to our channel. We are the Design Dreamers. For a minute, it escaped my brain there for a second. <laughs> Who are we? Yeah, and we're all about thrifty sewing, just a little chit chatting and enjoying um, trying to see how more economically we can make our homemade, slow made clothing instead of fast made and repurposing and reusing things. It's called slow made clothing, I thought. Ready to wear? Oh no, I said for us, we we do, <laughs> so we make our own slow made clothing. Yeah, ready to wear. fast wear? Fast made. Th that's. Ready to wear. Ready to okay. wear. That's what I was saying. And I may have that all wrong. So hopefully I don't. No, 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 I'm too tired to think about it. Yeah, we both had the. Uh, I think it's because of the heat. <laughs> Why well, we were always complaining about the cold. Now we're now we're in the heat. Yeah, heat zone. Well, yeah, we're in the heat dome. Well, and I think a lot of you are yes. dealing with that same yes. thing. It's just too early for us. It's only June, and we're having feel like temperatures of 100. Yeah, and the humidity is way up there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, for me, I think it's the humidity that yeah. bothers us more. Of course, my hubby, you know, the minute it gets over 75, he's like, <laughs> I'm hot. But anyway, that's okay. We tried to keep him nice and cool and comfy. So did you notice my earrings? I did. They're cute. They're I, very colorful. I made them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Do you like when them? you used to make jewelry? No, I made them a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were still doing that. Well, you know, something simple. Something simple. Yeah. As if you have... Um, tons of time to do this, but maybe you did it yeah, in your I, spare five minutes. It did not take any time at all. Those are really cute, and they don't look homemade. You know, sometimes yeah. people make jewelry, and it, you can tell. Yeah, it's like, yeah, nice. Yeah, this took hardly any time. Yeah. So okay, and we always start with an inspirational thing. So welcome. I don't know. Did we say welcome? I think we just said hi. So welcome to our channel, and <laughs> those of you who have returned. And for those who are checking us out, we're happy to have you here. <laughs> checking us out. Okay, so our inspirational quote is from Florence Scavel Shin. I don't think you're pronouncing any of that correctly, but that's okay. Florence? I'm no, not saying that right. Florence, you said that right. That was good. Florence is right. <laughs> the last names can be tricky. Scovel, maybe Scovel Shin. That's his name. Anyhow, she was born in 1871, died in 1940 at the age of 69. We do not know how she died, it did not say. But she was an artist, an author, and a new thought spiritual teacher, whatever that is. And this quote is from 1928. That was before I was born. That's good to know. It was before mom and dad <laughs> were born. <laughs> ah. Yeah, 28. Dad, dad might have been born in 28. Dad might have been. Yeah, because mom was 32 and she was four years old, younger. Oh, yeah, so dad might have been born yeah. the same time. Anyway. <laughs> time frame. I'm sure they're not related. <laughs> I'm sure. Go ahead. Um, it's the like quote squirrel. is, man's word is his wand filled with magic and power. Oh, okay. Power in the words. Yes. So what we say affects others. Yes. And ourselves. Yes. Yes. And if you say it to yourself in your brain, it, yeah, nobody hears it but you. <laughs> right. But it still has powerful effect. So today's video is part four. Oh, yeah. You don't want me to say anything else about that. I don't have anything. Oh, you can say more. I no, that's done. okay. I'm done. Go ahead. We'll move <laughs> forward with our sewing challenge. Yes. Uh, so we have been doing this wardrobe challenge. And this is our fourth piece in the wardrobe ch challenge. <laughs> So, anyway, um, who wants to go first? Who's on first? Well, I'll go first. Okay. I made a skirt. Baby. And and when we are when we do the compilation of it all, I will um, discuss some of the things I have learned in this process. Okay. But anyway. That's the next video. Yeah, that's the next video after <laughs> this one. I made a new look, um, 6762, and I made view B right here. It's simple skirt. It's got, sorry, you're getting that glare there. Um, that was a little better. Um, it's just a, you, the same pattern pieces, the front and the back, two pieces, front and the back. Is that one piece cut twice or is it two different one pieces? Piece cut twice. So it's just like the skirt I made. Yeah, a little bit different shape though. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of an A-line shape. 
Um, I wanted to make, I like I had stated previously, I had the same pattern that you did, made yours out of. Right. By the measurements, I wasn't quite sure it was going to fit. So um, I went and found a pattern that would, because that one's a little slimmer in the hips than okay. this one is. So anyway, this was made for knit fabrics only. You can see it needed to have a lot of stretch on it from here Ooh, to here. That's quite sorry. a bit of a stretch. I think now they tell you how much stretch it needs, but um, this pattern did not. Uh, and also I made them size medium, 14 to 16, which took two and, sorry guys, two and a quarter um, yards of fabric. Super easy, no waistband. It was a fold over waistband. So, um, oh, I, what I did on the waistband, I did something different because it just wanted you to fold it over and then straight stitch it down. Well, I did a stitch was, um, it had a couple of stitches straight and then it had like a stitch down. And a, a couple of stitches and then a stitch down, kind of like a zigzag oh, would go mm -hmm. down. But it had that, but it was just a straight point down in that. And I thought that made it a little more secure. Uh, the fabric that I used has no fraying at all. It's a jersey knit. Has no what? Fraying. It doesn't fray. Oh, fray. I thought you said fraying. I'm trying to figure out. What do you mean by frame? Fraying. So um, it's a comfortable skirt. And as you'll see, there's black is in there. So I can uh, switch that out with a black top if I wanted to. I put it with a white top. Um, it's hard for you to get. Oh, you're going to yawn. See, the tiredness That's is coming through. That's the second time already. I know we're only six minutes you in. Need caffeine. You need caffeine. You need to drink caffeine. I do. I don't have any right now in my glass. I'll have to. Yeah, you'll have to get yourself some caffeine. She does not drink an energy drink. Those are not, for people our age, they're not good for the heart. <laughs> Oh, are they not good for the heart? No, they're not. They're like those five-hour energy blasts yeah. and stuff. They're finding that, at least from what I've read on the new and heard on the news, is that even um, your young adults are having cardiac issues <gasps> with it because they drink them. I, I know someone that every day, that's what he grabs. Instead of a cup of coffee, we do coffee, several cups of coffee. I do, but it's yeah. decaf. It's always decaf. I'm allergic to coffee. So she doesn't do it. But, you know, and they drink that. And that's, it's powerful stuff for your body to handle. That's good to know. Yeah, it is good to know. So. I've never had any, but I don't, I just kind of want, it wasn't because I knew that it was harmful for the heart. It's just, I kind of thought, I don't, I just don't know. Well, I can't, I can't say it's harmful, but it causes the heart, you know, like can beat really super fast and all of that. that. Yeah. My heart's had its own issues. <laughs> you know, a little bit of caffeine is good for the brain. It helps it wake it up. Yeah, and get I do it going. need the caffeine. Yeah, and it wakes you up. But if you drink too much, it's bad for other issues throughout the body. That's that. This oh. is about sewing, not about fire <laughs> energy you know, drinks. Energy drinks. So I anyway, up with my yawning. A uh, very simple pattern. <laughs> I did turn up my hem <clears throat> this time an inch and a half and stitched it down. I did not do the quarter of an inch. Because again, it was just knit and, um, yeah, you know, it's not going to fray. So I could have finished off the seams if I wanted to, but you know, it's for me. It's, I, and I don't, it's not for a special occasion. It's for everyday wear. So anyhow, that's it. Do you want to see the reveal? I would like to. That looks nice. You like it? Yeah, it's cute. I can wear it multiple ways. Yes, and multiple different colors. Yeah, with, with it. it. Yeah, yeah, I think black will go nice with it. Yeah. And dress yeah. it up nice. But I'd like to see you in something other than black. So it's yes. nice. I could wear this over my black, though, so that color. Yes, that's true. And that would yes. pop it out. It could. It could. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, and what did you make? So I made... Um, 
a new look. Oh, one more thing before you get started. <laughs> okay. On the waistband, um, it had called for a half an inch, no, five eighths of an inch uh, elastic to go in. I put in three quarters of an inch elastic. Mm -hmm. And then I did stitch down, the pattern did not call for it, but I made sure that my elastic was pretty evenly, you know, spread through the skirt waistband, equal both in the front and the back. And I did stitch in the ditch on the side seam so it wouldn't twist and turn. That's it now. You can go. Okay. <laughs> so mine was new look 66351, six, and I made view D. The jacket. So I'm looking at this pattern and I you, have that too. You know, I, I took different new look. Well, maybe I should talk about that in our next. Yeah, thing. in your next one. Okay, I will. Anyway, I made you the, the jacket. It's cute. I didn't think that jacket would be so cute. Yeah, it's very cute jacket. Yeah. And it does call for a hook and eye right in the center there, but I didn't put it in. That's all right. I, I do was, that all the time. Yeah, I was like, I, I leave things out. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm ever going to wear it closed. I leave things out or I add things. <laughs> so here's the line drawing of it. You can see in the line drawing, it does have princess seams in the front. Mm -hmm. And it has a, just a plain seam in the back. Um, it didn't take very many pattern pieces. One, two, five. <laughs> well, I guess. Well, that's not too bad. Compared to your one piece. Yeah, well. You cut twice. I had five pieces, but, you know, it is a jacket, so. Um, and. Yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah. I um, also, because it's just a really nice jacket, I hand-stitched my. My, your seam? My. Um, oh, your hem. My hem in the sleeve and my hem around the, the bottom. bottom. I did hand-stitch it so it doesn't have the top stitch. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. It looks really nice. I think yeah. you did a nice job yeah. on that. Yeah, I, I like it. I like the jacket a lot. I think I wanted kind of a shorter jacket mm -hmm. um, because sometimes with some skirts it looks better with a shorter jacket. I can see that with a pair of jeans too. Yeah, yeah. It's really cute. I yeah. think that, that would really be a... This fabric has been so fun, you know, and I just, I love that I got all of that fabric for $1.25. I know, yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah. Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't say where my fabric came from. I did order the, my fabric for my skirt from Fabric Mart a while ago because I liked that striped look. Oh, it's okay. probably been over a year. Striped? It's striped. That fabric's striped. I found a pin in my. Ouch! I found a pin in my in my jacket. <laughs> I think that could be dangerous. Striped top. Huh? No, no skirt. My skirt. Oh. <laughs> See, I am so tired. I can't even keep track. <laughs> Oh, what we're talking about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, bear with me today, okay? All right. So anyway, um, I did not have any problems at all with, with this um, top. It was very easy. Is it, it was fairly simple to make. Yes. I said, does it call it an easy pattern? It does not call it an easy pattern. And I think it's because you do have like the, um, the, the facing is the same as the jacket. Oh, I love that. I mean, it's all in when you just folded it over and then stitched it, or did you stitch the facing onto you the jacket? You had to stay stitched the facing oh, onto okay. the jacket. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'm yeah. not crazy about those. But yeah. But it, it, it works. Out good. Yeah. 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 So the, the, the fabric is a little hard to keep crisp. You know what I mean? Like I pressed it and pressed it, and it's hard to keep it crisp because it wants to just kind of do its own thing. Yeah. Because of the fabric. You know what? It I... doesn't breathe. It's hot. <laughs> it is warm, <laughs> especially when it's 88 and the humidity is 90% or yeah. whatever. But you know what I have found? Um, some of you a while ago had said something about my white shirts that I wear. And I just buy the cheapest ones I can find. Like, they're t-shirts is what they are, usually. Mm -hmm. And um, I always iron them before I wear them. It crisps them up, but I spray them with spray starch. So I'm wondering if spray starch would... Well, you know, I have tried three or four different kinds of spray starch, and I can't get any of them to work. Do you always turn them upside down to squirt when you're done with it? I can't even get them to work to start with. 
Well, I have to help you with that. <laughs> Let me try and Stars that. are not friends. <laughs> I guess I can try and help you with that because I yeah. don't have any problems with it. Yeah, them. well, I've got four cans of it. I'm like, I'm done buying this pretty stuff. Now, I did see the other you... day at Joanne's, they had like the squirt puddle. I thought well, maybe that would work for me because these spray cans just aren't doing it. Oh, spray search? A squirt bottle? A spray search? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I buy mine at the Dollar Tree. Okay. I get the cheap ones. <laughs> it seems to work for me. But that helps to crisp fabric up. Yeah. You know, that, well, that's, that's the point. That's where I was going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can try it. And if you're worried about the starch, sometimes people worry about the starch. You can put it on too heavy and you can see it on the fabric. Oh. You spray it on the inside and iron it. Okay. We'll see. That's a thought. Yes. Anyway, would you like to see the reveal? I would, yes. I think I'm going to reveal it with the pants and top that I had made. Okay. Okay. Very, very nice. It looks nice on you. I like it. And I like that little hat. You look good in hat. Oh, thank you. I just got that at a yard sale. Uh, it's cute. I was like, oh, I think that will go. Yeah. Yeah, thank it you. It does. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah. Dresses the whole thing up, an, an element. Yeah, it yeah. takes it to a new level. It does. I wish there was more hat wearing. I'm starting to wear area. more hats. And it's fun. And I've been getting compliments from people like that. I wear them into town. And they're like, oh, your hat is cute. Anyway, <laughs> hey. Yeah, you need to wear one. <laughs> and I like the fascinators myself, really. I oh, love the fascinators. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, we should be in England. We could wear fascinators. Mom always said I was born in the wrong time period. Did, did, she, she? did you ever hear her say that to me? No. She used to tell me that all the time. You are born in the wrong time period. Because, okay, so when I was... Young, I was a tomboy, totally tomboy. Yeah, me I too. mean, we hate in the field. We we Quite, put strawberries yeah. and onions and topped onion. We did all kinds of well, farm, farm work. work. Yeah, because dad didn't have any boys. We were just tom. I was just a tomboy. Yeah, and I thought I would never wear nail polish. I would never wear. <laughs> you are so girly, girly now. <laughs> and then it's like I'm so girly, girl. It's just like I'm making up for lost time. Yeah. <laughs> but mom used to always say I should have been born in Victoria. Well, age. all what I remember her saying is that. The Polish comes through in you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then because of the colors and, and yeah. liking that kind of stuff. Yeah, the, ooh, the wild yeah. and lots of jewelry. Yeah. And she always said I was more like the reserve Dutch. Reserve Dutch. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this segment of our wardrobe challenge. Yes. Our next video we will show you and talk about the complete yes. set. Yes. And the lessons learned, if you learned anything. Yes. Ah. Okay. You guys have a wonderful day. This was a little short video. Oh, we have to go through our um, inspiration. I just wanted to remind you that man's word is his wand filled with magic and power. So use your words wisely. And you know what? That affects everybody. It affects who heard you say it. And it affects your internal self. And it just reminds me of, I don't know whether it was mom or dad who said, if you don't have something kind to say, don't say it. I don't think they came up with that, but no, <laughs> we used to hear that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know, if, if you think about that, that kind of goes with this because, it does. you know, wait, once something comes out of your mouth, you can't people hear it. it and you can say, Oh, if that's what cracks me up about trials. Objection. They can not say that. Well, they just did. And everybody heard it. <laughs> I don't know how that works. How many court trials have you been <laughs> <laughs> I think TV court drive. Well, I that's read, true. I read books. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot of books. Of course. And hopefully they're accurate with that. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, we <laughs> hope you have a great week, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Please take care. Don't forget to subscribe, like, forward, Leave thumbs up, thumbs up, which is the likes. But that's a great thing. It helps us a lot. Yes. And we'll see you next time. All right. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Happy sewing.